Hey guys, this is Chris Jones checking in from the Seminole Soccer Complex in Sanford, Florida. As we saw, the Orlando City Lions take down KC Athletics 7-0. With that win, that means that Orlando City gets to take on Sporting Kansas City next week in the Open Cup. Let's check out the recap. Um, I think collectively tonight we did some very good things going forward. I think we scored some very good goals that I call them training ground goals because I think it's what we work on mostly throughout the week. And I think Coach will be pleased with that. I think we'll be pleased with that. Um, my goal, Eric did a great job of playing me in and taking the defender away and kind of left me with no choice. Took a shot and it went in and glad finally I could get one in. Um, kind of get a little uh, little confidence going, especially it's a nice little, little run of games we have here. So hopefully um, continue on with that. But I think the important thing is we can take a lot of pauses tonight, especially going forward. You know, seven goals means you've done a couple of things right in front of goal. Work on the things we didn't do and move it on for a tough, tough road ahead. I think we have to be important to, or smart enough to focus on the important games that we have this week, um, Thursday and Saturday. When we get through those two stretches of games, then we'll then we'll think about that and have a quick little trip out and hopefully uh, get a good result against a very good team in a beautiful stadium. So I think we are excited about that in the back of our mind. But if you start thinking about that, you drop six points in the league right now and there aren't points to be dropped with how close it is at the top. Well, I thought we moved the ball quite well. I thought the, the approach from the players was excellent. I um, thought we were a little bit wasteful, actually, in front of goal. You know, I don't want to be greedy, but, you know, it could have been a lot more than seven. And um, But I, I think overall we've got to be pleased with the effort. You know, Maxi's got a little bit of a twinge in his hamstring, which might be a problem from the evening. But apart from that, I think we've come through pretty much unscathed. So, you know, winning a game, going through to the next round of the Cup, away at Kansas City, scoring seven has been a... Has been a Shall we say a very good evening? Where, where are you guys, in, uh, according say to last year at this time, where you're facing uh, Dallas away, um, and and now you're facing Kansas City away? Where, where is your club now, according to where maybe they were last year? Well, I think the difference was this time last year we were coming, we were going to play Dallas, having played six games in 12 days. Now we arrived on Monday, Monday evening from Antigua, flew out Tuesday morning to play Dallas on the Tuesday evening. So. We are going to be a little bit better prepared, I would think, but you know we've got two big games in between that. You know we've got a really difficult game against LA Blues on Thursday, and then Charlotte come to town, who've traditionally caused us a few problems. So we've got, you know, hopefully everybody comes through unscathed, and we can get a full strength team out for Thursday. Once we've done Thursday, then we'll look to Saturday, and then once Saturday's done, we'll look forward to Kansas City. When does the preparation start for Kansas City? Kansas City will start on Saturday evening after the game against Charlotte. You know, at the end of the day, our bread and butter is the league. We make no, you know, we make no bones about it. We we say it now. We want to win the league. We want to win the playoffs, and we want to be competitive at Kansas City. But I know how important our next game is against LA Blues because I think come the end of the season they'll be in and around the top of the table. So I want to make sure we go and get a result on Thursday. Join us for our next home match against the Los Angeles Blues at 7:30 on Thursday, May 24th at the Citrus Bowl.